But yeah, you can roll on over because we're uh, on. Let me let me uh, get my camera just a little bit better suited here. Uh, I may have to change it again. Hi, everybody. How are you? Uh, we're now waiting for people to call because I've got the Skype lines on. Uh, let me see here. Let me bring this up here. And oh, uh, see, you can see yourself yeah. there. Ooh. There we go. And then I make this smaller so that I you can... You make it so small I can't see. Well, can we yeah, no. share this? Huh? Can no, we share well, this? we will in a second. Let me get stuff done here. Okay. All right. Now what happens is you people... Uh, have to uh, have to give me a call. Wait a minute. This, this is somebody I've never heard from before. Well, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Uh, Charlene. Uh, Charlene. And uh, now uh, Scott Boddicker. And I can't take... Uh, let's see here. And uh, let me see here. And Alan uh, Miner, uh, Myler? What, how do you pronounce that name, Alan? It's Max from Berlin. Oh, it's Max from Berlin. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Boy, this is getting to be an international show. By the way, Scott needs some light on you. Hi, hey, Charlie. It's all right. I'm, on, I'm in the living room watching football, uh, uh, so I can't. Because uh, we're we're doing the TV tonight, and uh, they so should light be. Yourself if, up, if, Scott. if I have nothing but dark can screens, we share this? if if you, the you light they can hear you, it's a it's trust me, they can hear you. Anyway, uh, Hi, Charlie. You can't turn on the lights, Hi. Scott. They're all on. Well, then go to your camera and turn up the gain on it or something. Uh, let me see if I know how to do Yeah. Uh, and, Alan, you're kind of dark, too. Let me see if I can yeah. work on that. The only reason I'm saying this is because tonight is this is TV night. This is TV night. Yeah, that'll give you more light there, Alan. There yeah. you go. Yeah. <laughs> it looks yeah. the same to me. So, well, he's still kind of dark there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Oh, there. Now, that looks like he probably put a light on somewhere else. There we oh, go. There a little we better. Go. Little a better. little better. A little better. And Scott still looks like the Prince of Darkness. But yeah, I'm, trying to be, I'm trying to be the new Rob. <laughs> the new Rob? Yeah, he's always in the dark. Too. Oh, yeah. Well, no, he has a thing that whenever he turns it on, uh, for some reason or another, the damn thing... Um, um, you can look at my light. Yeah, uh, ah. yeah. There we go. Uh, the the damn thing uh, uh, is is dark, and then he has to go into his camera and turn up the gain. You know. So anyway. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm looking at. It. I'm trying to figure it out. Well, let's talk to Max. He's there in Berlin. The other night we had our our good friend uh, Bree from Dubai. Um, um, you know, nice person. it seems everybody wants to call us and go, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> <laughs> well, people here are saying Brexit part two of the Americas. Yeah, That's I, right. I, That's I just exactly said it. Right. I said it's kind of our Brexit, you know. Except a whole mm -hmm. lot bigger. Yeah. <laughs> well, how, how, are, how, how are people taking this? Well, you're an American to begin with. Let's say yes. that. Okay. I also, I also voted the week before you guys. Oh, really? Okay. Back in October. Yeah. Um, and, and what, um, what is the kind of, what, what's the, what are, you hearing? What, what, what are you hearing over there from people? I mean, are they, are they as gobsmacked as we are over this thing? I believe that U.S. politics was a circus to begin with. So to them, it was nothing other than a Brexit part two. Just, I mean, simply put, and yeah. yeah, yeah, that's all it was. We've also been joined by Jason. Hello, Jason. How are you this Hello, evening? Hello, Jason. Good, how's it going? Yeah, haven't heard from you in a couple of weeks, but uh, you know, uh, you've got to have some take on this whole thing. Are you talking about? Oh, wait the a minute. You know something? You know what I haven't done? I haven't. I haven't shown you guys on the screen. People are just hearing me talk to you. I sometimes forget that. Can they see you now? Now they can see all the people. Is that they, the wonderful girlfriend? Yeah. Wow, pretty lady. Yeah, she she she's holding up okay, <laughs> you know. Um, she she we put her up on the on the rack and give her some lube, and she's you know, <laughs> she's okay. But speaking of porn, <laughs> what did they, they vote in California? It's coming out. No. <laughs> what did they vote in California? They, they don't have to wear condoms when making porn films. Who cares? I know. Well, what's the big issue about the condoms? Anyways? Well, what they were trying to do is try and, and hurt the porn industry is what they were trying to do. The I, fact you know, is that those people don't want to get AIDS. They have their own protection. protection. They, they, they do what they have to do. They get tested a lot. I'd when be, I'm watching porn, if the dude's wearing a condom is the last thing on my mind. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
I really don't care. And they've got them so they look like flesh colored and everything. Do so they? it doesn't really. <laughs> you don't see the I've, ribbing? I've met one of these porn stars on air and they, they, and they, were, they were told to uh, only date within their own circles because outsiders are not allowed because of their job. Well, it, yeah. it, it, it's, it's a good it's point because the industry polices itself pretty damn well. And um, they make sure that everybody has a, a test every, I think, at least three months, if not more. Um, and, like and so they know oh, that. that if they stay within their own circles, they've had people who are tested, you know. So anyway, so Jason, you might, did that depress you the other night? You know, I still... I still think Russia is behind it. <laughs> Me too. Uh -oh. You know, but my whole thing too, though, is even if Russia was behind it and the United States found out, would they actually come out and say, Russia hacked our whole internal system? You know, it'd be too much of an embarrassment. They'd just go along with it, I think. Because mm -hmm. all of the polls, all of the polls show that Hillary was winning. Yeah, yeah, Trump was tightening it up. But, you know, for him to win the way that they did, nah. They're saying, though, that Hillary's people knew about a week beforehand that she wasn't going to win. The, 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 they, they saw their internal polling was not indicating that she was going to win. Or confidence? Huh? Or confidence? No, I don't think it's, it was poor confidence. Did you say poor confidence? No, overconfidence. Overconfidence. No, they were they they, they were, were they were beginning to they were nervous. They were beginning to see the erosion in the numbers. Yeah, and I see it at my work too. All of the the bigotry and the hatred of everybody coming out even stronger. They feel like they're entitled to be these white privileged assholes well, who he you gave know, them voice. He did. Yeah, he it, gave a lot of these marginal groups voice. Well, he gave them permission, is what he did. Yeah, uh, Charlene. Well, um, Jason brought up, you know, bigotry, and you were talking about Matt. I think he's so cute, you know, like, um, it was interesting that Matt is my son's age, and uh, I realized something about my son. Like, um, should Will, you know, watch uh, Archie Bunker, All in the Family? Would that be a good way to show him what a bigot is? Because, you know, Archie was a bigot, right? Yeah. That yeah, but, uh, you know, that's what I hate about it, the bigotry. But that generation, I just wanted to, while well, you said that, you know, I just wanted to bring that up before I lost it. Well, but uh, I thought it was so cute that that generation doesn't even know what a bigot is, so they don't think that Trump is bigoted, right? But well, sorry, Jason, I, I, go ahead. I, I don't, you know, I, I, you know I, I don't know why these people try to excuse what he does as not being bigotry, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, there, there is something racist about he, 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 it wasn't that he, as I say he gave these people a sense of permission that's right you know I, I get these stories like where's Phil tonight by the way I don't know uh -oh, anyway, say that. Uh -oh. If I say his name three times he will call <laughs> was uh, it this week that he was on the scuba trip or was it last no, week? No that was last week um, he made it back, but, he, but he even pulled over during the scuba trip. Remember yeah. that night he oh, called there, in, even can, though he was on now vacation. Now we can see Scott. Hi, Scott. I had to move to another chair. Yeah, yeah. much better. Yeah. Oh, that's. Oh, uh, nice. yeah, that's good. It's even yeah. nice mood lighting. Uh, if I were a Hollywood cinematographer, I would say, "Good job, good job." <laughs> Um, Excellent. But the thing is that, that um, uh, there, there's a sense of permission that was given. And oh, and so Phil, I, I think, was saying, oh, you know, and these people are beating up on uh, people who voted for Trump and blah, 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 blah. And I'm and, and uh, you know, he didn't mention the Muslims who are getting beaten up by Trump supporters. Jahib's ripped off. Uh, yeah, Jihab, uh, yeah, Hijabs. Uh, Hijabs. Yeah, no, Jihabs. Jihabs. No. <laughs> you got that, what is that clothing you wear during a jihad? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, but that, that's uh, the. Um, uh, the women wear that. Yeah. yeah. Who uh, had that? Somebody. Right. Had, oh yes, Jason. I say I have a girl that I went to school with. Mm -hmm. She's also Mexican, but she's more ethnic looking than I am, and her daughter is more ethnic looking too. And, and, and kids on the school bus are telling her that Trump's going to send her back to Mexico. Oh God! Oh boy! Uh, uh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Hold on a second. We're getting some kind of slap back here. Let me let me let me let me if I turn the sound down for a couple of seconds, it goes away. See. Uh, and a little more, little more light, Rob. A little more, yeah, bring it up more. Just uh, as bright, yeah. yeah. Because I, I want everybody to see everybody tonight. Because this is TV. Alan's still, well, Max is still kind of dark, but yeah, I'm trying to. 
He's backlit. He, he, he's back. He's backlit. So we get him as, mm -hmm. as a yeah. as a shadow, shadow a shadow of his former self. <laughs> um, Aren't we all what, what, after Tuesday? Uh, what, did, what were you going to say something, Jason? Did I interrupt you? No, I, I finished. Oh, I was just saying how my you know girl I went to school with her daughter is being told by the, yeah, the little on the girl bus. gets told on the no, bus. Wait, no, wait, that, wait, 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 let him finish. Yeah, what? they're going to ship her back to Mexico. Yeah. Uh, How old is she? She like eight? Um, I'm not sure. It's uh, you know a girl I went to school with. I'm just friends with her on Facebook. So you know that's okay with them. That's the America they want to live in. I told her, you know, because I had to respond to this, too, when I was a kid growing up. You know, people would tell me to go back to Mexico. I'd tell them, at least I can walk back to where I came from. Can you walk back to where you came from? You know, that's a long walk back to Europe. That's good. I like that. Well, you know, it's just, it, 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 the, 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 it is the inhumanity yeah. of the philosophies these people hold. Um, uh, this whole thing about Medicare is an example. Uh, as I wrote today, uh, no Medicare. What do they want us to do? What do they want to do? Kill us? Yeah. And that's no. really what they're doing. They just want you to die quickly. It's cheaper <laughs> that way. It's cheaper that, that way. That's what, that, that, that gives more money for the military, Alex. You got to build that military up. You can join the army again or something. Well, here's my suggestion: <laughs> since Medicare isn't going to be taking care of a lot anymore, <laughs> why don't we? Um, uh, when we have a, a military action somewhere, send old people who can't afford medical care, who are Perfect. dying of some uh, d dying of some terminal disease. Put them in the army. Yeah, put them in the army. Strap and also, on, Tom, let them walk into also, the army. Here, here, here's, the, here's where my theory is very sound. When you buy a carton of eggs, and you still have another carton of eggs in the refrigerator, which one do you use first? The oldest eggs. Those yeah. are the people we should send off to war, the oldest eggs. Yes, Max. The French used the French Foreign Legion for their special forces and their prisoners. So they made the same concept. Yeah. Well, we, you know, we do the same thing, oddly enough. How many people are in the military because the judge said, if you join the military, we won't throw you in jail? That's right. I was in the army for eight years. I'm not a convict. No, I know, but you, I, bet I don't you think need... they do that much anymore. Oh, yeah. yes, they do. I think Even the army doesn't want them. Do you remember Sarah Palin's son went off to yes. Iraq? Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was kind of surprised about that because I didn't. I haven't heard of that happening much anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, it, you know, I mean, For beating up his girlfriend. It, it's just this whole oh, concept geez. of, I mean, how cruel a mindset do you have to have, like Paul Ryan? to say, we're going to cut Medicare. We're gonna come up with another plan, our own plan. But it's a, it's a plan that the, the average old person couldn't afford, you know? Uh, and so we, we make the ability to live uh, uh, upper class uh, thing, you know? I, I just, it's just. Well then see, that, that's good. I mean, this way, social security, right? You, you can, it'll be around longer. There'll be less people on it because they'll die. Well, they want to get. They want to privatize. Oh, well, you see the security. Theme? They want to privatize social security, and as I said earlier, Jeez. privatizing social security has another name. It's called banking. It's called Wall Street. Yeah, it's called Wall Street. And it's how called... well did they take care of money a few years yes. ago? That's not going to happen. I, I hope they do it. I hope they do it. Well, There's these old people ready for vote for the dumbass. Yeah, but I mean, the point is, right. well, I don't think. Uh, uh, how old are you now, Scott? Fifty-eight. Fifty-eight. Well, so you can't get uh, you can't get Medicare yet. If you've got Medicare already, they're not going to take it away from you. Yes, they will. No, they will. They're going to give you vouchers. You'll get so many vouchers uh, a year, and that's all you you know. If you use that up, then then you're but, you know, you'll get coupons. Wait, coupons. Wait a minute. Coupons. <laughs> Plus, stamps. Yeah. You mean, wait, wait a minute. The way this is going to work is you get vouchers, and they're going to be able to predict how sick you're going to be. That, that's it. When, once you use up all your vouchers that year, you're going to have to wait for your next year to get better. <laughs> oh, God. I'm saying yeah. good night. Good night, Good dear. night, everyone. Okay, good bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Keep working, bye. Bye. Mr. Marjorie. Yeah, Mar yeah, she was going to stop working, but now she can't because, okay. you know, okay. we have to pay for those vouchers okay. or what the vouchers <laughs> won't take care of. I mean, it, it's horrible. Yes, Alex? yes, Charlene. Well, you know, it's a good thing you're not watching the news 
because uh, you missed Chris Christie's camel toe. No, I... I, I... <laughs> as much weight as that guy has lost, he still hasn't lost a lot, and I don't know why he doesn't get a better tailor or something. He's coming down out of a plane. You know, like that baseball one that's famous, that camel toe? Yeah. There was another one like that today. It was awful. And uh, he's going to be uh, taking a little step down yeah. because of uh, the bridge gate thing, right? Well, I don't. You know, that's that's going to be the Breitbart guy. That's going to be his chief of staff. Oh, saying. Well, that you know, I, I thought it would be either it would either be him or, or Kellyanne Conway. You know how they say he's uh, Hitler. Uh, his Goebbels is. You'll know who he is, Alex. I should know the name. But I've watched a lot of CNN. There's a man that they're going to put in charge of something, and he's like, um, oh God, who got fired recently? L that uh, L Ludowski. <laughs> No. Oh, damn it. I wish I was better with names. We've got fired recently. Oh, you mean, oh, you mean um, uh, uh, that disgusting. Uh, yeah, yeah. That... From Fox. Uh, 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 Ailes. Uh, Roger Ailes. Yeah. Like, is he the new Goebbels or something? You know, like, oh, well, what's going you know on? something? If you look at all those guys, they kind of look like a, uh, they, like, a fasc like a, fa a fascist yeah. portrait from World War II. Yeah. You know. They're all criminals, right? Giuliani. You know, uh, what is he and doing? And, of course, we know, as I said last night, and I, I have proof of it, which I'm going to bring the woman on and have her uh, talk about how she got it from, uh, he has, uh, Trump has syphilis. Oh, my God. Oh, that's so great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Didn't Al Capone die of just syphilis? Start, just started telling everybody you know that you heard on the Internet, and, you know, you can trust the Internet, that Trump has syphilis. <laughs> and that that uh, there's this woman who who tested positive for syphilis after having sex with him, wow. uh, and uh, uh, she's about sure to come out true. with this. What? I sure hope that's true. Well, uh, nice to have a syphilitic president, you know. You Max, your brain. Max you, has got his hand up. your brain. Yes, Max. Well, he used the vouchers to help him cure the syphilis. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> he probably gets Medicare. Uh -oh. Yeah, he's on Medicare. He's on Medicare. It's a joke. <laughs> uh, it, you know, if you it, well, he uh, he's on Social Security, and if he doesn't take Social Security, he's a dumb shit because it's his money. Right. You know, um, but um, uh, I wonder where wonder where Phil is tonight. Oh God! He, he, Don't say it three times. He didn't leave mad last night, did he? No. 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 I just want. I just like him for balance. Maybe Patrick will call and we can get the balance we need. But he or said Matt. he's going to be home late. So. Or well, Matt. Matt was or, a support. Or Matt. You Matt know. was Trump's supporter. In, in other words, I, I, you know, we could sit around here and have a, uh, um, a liberal gangbang, but, you know. Maybe they'll want to attend the parade in North Carolina. Which yeah, one's that? the KKK, that? right? KKK is going to have a parade on, uh, on December 3rd. Mm. So we get a bunch of drones, and we fill it with the drones with confetti, and fly it over, or not confetti, excuse me, pig's blood. And fly well, there's a big right difference, <laughs> Renee. <laughs> pig's blood where? Uh, and drop it all over the KK members. I think the red will look really nice on the white. Yeah, yeah. Although, do they still, I guess they still do wear the robes, don't mm -hmm. they? I'm not I think it's cool. a requirement when you get your membership. You have to buy one of the white robes. Oh, really? Can't, uh, it, it, in China. I mean, it's not like the old days where your wife just sewed some linens together. No, you have to buy an official one from the KKK. Yeah. Wow. yeah. I knew one guy who was a little, uh, the guy who was so old, he was so incontinent that they, he had to have a, a, uh, a, a rubber robe. So it was, uh, there's a joke there somewhere. <laughs> ba -dum -bum. <laughs> so yeah. It looks like he's not going to scrap Obamacare, though, right away. And it looks like he's uh, he's already saying that they're going to take some of Obamacare. Well, you know, the and thing day is, one, he's going to get rid of Obamacare. That's what he said. He's uh, got so many things one. to do on day one. He's going to be exhausted by five o'clock. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Get already it, saying, it, go to a party. Uh, day one, it's over. Not going to happen. Yes. No. Oh. Yeah, Charlene. Oh, uh, I'm so happy. That you know we have a president, right? Mm -hmm. And but Macy's is still refusing to sell the president's suits and his daughter's shoes and things like that. I saw that you know on television. I was so happy about that. Well, I think so that he, I, think, I think he should be forced to take his clothing off the market. 
you know, uh, because uh, uh, it, it, it's not a, a good thing to have something that a president so f probably tacitly endorses, even though he may not be making money off of it. His name is on it. And I think that uh, I think Macy's made the right decision. Ivanka, on the other hand, her her line of, of stuff, uh, she is a private person with a private company who unfortunately has the last name Trump, you know, so. No. Huh? Well, I guess she kept her and she kept her maiden name. Obviously. Excuse me, everybody who's watching on the TV. I'm not picking my nose, but I have a hair that's askew in my nose <laughs> and it's driving me nuts. Um, but uh, anyway. By the way, if anybody wants to call, we could. We still have room for um, be three more callers. So. I, had a, I had lunch with a friend of mine today who told me that uh, he heard an interview with Trump, asking about what Trump was going to do with his business. Mm -hmm. uh, you know when he be, you know when he became president, and he said he was going to put it in blind, blind trust, and his kids were going to run it. So the commentator said, "So then your kids are going to run it?" He goes, "No, I'm going to put it in a blind trust." He goes. Well, then it's not a blind trust. If you know who's running it, that's not a blind trust. And he said, no, it's a blind trust. My kids are going to run it. And so, wait, wait, the idea of a blind trust is you don't know who is handling the money. Correct. Right? Oh, okay, okay. I didn't know that. I didn't know that either, but I'm not Donald Trump. You know? The businessman, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I've, the thing I've, I've never liked about a blind trust needed. is, you know, you pretty well know where your money is. So when you're president, you're going to sometimes make decisions that will better your money anyway, even though it's in a blind trust somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I, I just, uh, you know, uh, it's it's all very sad. But, uh, you know, you know, I, 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 I had a one positive thing happen to me today. Yeah. You know, um, Phil, I think, voted mostly was supporting Trump because he felt that that everything is so corrupt and Americans don't pick their own presidents and it's all done by, you know, it's it's sort of predetermined. You don't really have a choice. And, it, you know, that whole... Electoral uh, college. Yeah. No, no, not the electoral no, 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 college. No, no, no. It's this thing. What is the name of that organization? Is Triton or what was that? Oh. Triton. Yeah. Not, not you know, John Birch. I, it, it really shows you that we do choose. Oh, trilateral? The trilateral? trilateral. That's it. Tri yeah. It may, and I was sitting there with my buddy, and I said to him, you know, there's one positive thing that came out of this, is that this is not what anybody wanted. And we do have the power to pick the commander-in-chief in this country. Good or bad, we pick the bad hey, comrade. But it, uh, what's the Putin wanted him? This is not what big <laughs> business wanted, right? This is, you know, this is not the way anybody expected it to go. So the good news is that any kind of conspiracy theory, I think, is, you know, our democracy does work. Just fucked it up this time. Hmm. I still think Russia hacked it. And they put them in there. I think we got exactly what we paid for. You voted. We got the hey, look, we look. deserved. America. Uh, well, here's the thing, though. Yeah, you're right. Again, we got to go back to this this thing the other day. Uh, I have as I've not been watching the news. What are the latest uh, totals of uh, how much Hillary had more than Donald Trump in popular vote? Does anybody know? Last time I heard, it was two million. It was two million. Yeah. yeah. So actually, the notion that my vote counts is not true, because if we went by popular vote, my vote would count. I thought it was only one hundred and fifty thousand. No, I, I, I heard I heard more than that. I heard somewhere I heard somewhere like one point five million, actually. Uh, I, I think I think Renee's right. It's around two million. And that's what they predicted in the polls in the polling should win by two to three percent, something like that, which which it works out that way. But it just doesn't work out that way in the Electoral College. Well, because with the Electoral College, you're kind of scamming the game. You know, you're playing the game to. Uh, it, it's kind of like when we used to have ratings and radio, remember, Rob? There were things you could do to kind of uh, get better ratings that had nothing to do with getting the most people, uh, sweeping the quarter hour, right. doing things like right. that. Uh, uh, during a, when, they, when they had times where, where they, were, they did constant measurement eventually, but when they didn't do constant, man, man, uh, con constant measurement, 
excuse me, I'm a little off tonight, folks. Um, the um, uh, they'd run more contests, they do all kinds of things. Right. Well, what he did is I think he was playing to the electoral college and not towards the popular vote. And I think that's where he probably had a good game plan. So it was like uh, 600,000. According to CNN's votes, it was Clinton had 60,828,358 votes to Trump's 60,261,924. So that's a difference of? A little about 600,000 or a okay. little less. In any event, she still would have won. Yes. Yeah. You know, and yet because of the Electoral College, my vote got, I got robbed. It kills me too where I live. I, no no offense, Rob. Uh, what? Every time there's an election, my county is always called out. Macomb County is always known as the Republican, yes. uh, the Reagan Democrats. That's right. And they, they, they uh, Trump won Michigan too because of my county, and I just I cannot believe it. It's like you know your your middle class, well solid middle class people with good union jobs, and you sit there and keep on voting these Republicans. You know who uh, it kills me. Hasta la vista. And, you know, and, and, sorry later. Yeah, once your union job is gone and you don't have any protection, you know, hey, but you voted for the Republican, you know who got rid of your union job and now you know, you can sit there and get your job back if you want to take half the pay well what I, mean, I hope it happens and i hope it happens uh, I don't I <laughs> yes renee not to you but yeah. um, number one i put the petition that you guys need to sign mm. in order to request a repeal or to work on the electoral college and it's up on alex's webpage, so you can get just click on the link and number two is the easiest way to describe the electoral call the electoral college is just and who, wait a minute who's going to get this petition no this is from change.org oh no change.org fuck them well, the, it was the question is the question is you know i want to know that if i sign something like this it's going towards some kind of machinery that is going to get rid of the electoral college if this is just some simple you know little uh uh P, you know, piece of paper where they then say, well, we had 20 million people Look sign people this thing it. and it's not going to do shit, then I, yeah, that's a waste of time. Okay. You know, make you, the only person, that, the, 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 best the only your thing that's benefited, or, by, or, what were you saying, Max? Won't your local congressman or your senator be the best person then? I'd say petition your local congressman, you know, or senator, and they really don't care because they'd prefer to have it the way it is because okay. it's winnable, you know. Uh, you know, I almost want to vote out my senator too because she ended up voting, give one of her uh, her votes to uh, Hillary Clinton when uh, Bernie Sanders took the state of Michigan. Yeah. So aren't you supposed to represent me and not Hillary Clinton? Yeah, that's right. That's right. right. But the point is, the point that I'm making is, is I, I, every time I hear about these petitions, I go, how many times do you ever hear of one of these petitions being signed, and you know, and a lot of people signing them, and anything happening because of it? By the way, I guess we have uh, who's this from seven oh seven. Uh, it's a, your fourth Trump supporter, Ted. Ted. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Vacaville? 707 ish. Is that where? Well, where? I, uh, my phone is from Kenwood, but I'm uh, in San Francisco. Oh, so. see. Uh, yeah. It doesn't matter. It, area codes don't matter any longer, you know. That's true. Um, but that but uh, all I'm saying, Renee, and I don't wish to rain on your parade, is that these petitions are just something that makes you feel good, but it doesn't do the job, you well, know. This, is, this position will be delivered to the Electoral College electors. So, yeah, well, so, so what's, that, what's, what, but what's that gonna do? They don't have any, any uh, you know what? You they, people have been bitching for two years. No, and wait, somebody, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is on your parade, you're not doing a damn thing about no, it. No, 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 <laughs> and I'll tell you why, Renee. Because it, it's a waste of my signature, you know. Oh, I would rather. I would rather. Waste of your vote. Uh, it, 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 no, it's a waste of my signature because nothing's going to happen from those petitions. It was a waste of your vote. How many? Is there anybody here who disagrees them. with me that the petition is going to help make a change? Well, there you got your answer. 
Alex. Yes. I don't mean to be like, uh, you know, asking something that you don't want to talk about, but how, what, what was that again that they looked into ending the Electoral College in the past, like twice already, right? And what was it, like the Supreme Court or something has to rule no, to take no. it out? Or, no. I, I don't have I mean, it right. No, you, it probably, probably something would have to be done. Two-thirds of yeah. the House and Senate will never yeah. happen. And, and the House and Senate benefits from the Electoral College. Uh, so, right. you know, you're asking the very people who are going to benefit they like most it. That's how they get it. voted in, right? They that's get how voted it keeps in like it a two-party system. Exactly. I mean, yep. you know. Uh, but <laughs> anyway, uh, Ted, Ted, uh, uh, Ted yes, talk, talk to us. What, what do you, what's on your mind tonight? Okay, well, you know, they played by the rules for this one, and it was the Electoral College rules. Had it been popular vote, they wouldn't have played that way. If you were seeing Trump in New York, California, and right. had he gone to all those places, he might have got enough votes to put him above Hillary. We don't that's know right. that. So well, you make, a, very, you make a good now. point. You make a good point. And that's a good point for not uh, abolishing, you know, because otherwise everybody would spend time in Los Angeles, New York, San Francisco, Miami, Chicago, the yeah. top 10 markets. And the rest of the country, nobody would give a crap about. So, you know. And the other thing is, the other thing is, I think there should be a study done of the places Hillary appeared. Did it actually improve the people voting for her, or did it actually make less people want to vote for her? You know, we're assuming that when she went around these places, it actually improved the numbers of people that voted for her. I don't really. Yeah, well, what do you what do you think? Oh, well, Max has his hand up, and then I want to ask you a question, Ted. But Max, I say, I mean, there. I mean, and I think in the end, the long term, it balances itself out because North, Texas is a hardcore Republican state, California is a hardcore Democratic state, and actually have a couple of moderate states along the way. Alaska, Hawaii, do they even count? I know they count, but do they count? So in the end. I mean, um, there is a balance. It's just, it just takes time. Um, that yeah. you really don't, we really don't need electoral college anymore because, you know, okay. population takes care of itself. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, Ted, um, uh, where do you think, in your opinion, Hillary made her mistake? And when did it start falling apart for her? Uh, she concentrated on the minority vote rather than on the middle class or the lower uh, working class white vote. Yeah. And she threw them to the wolves, and they saw that. And uh, you know, it was, it was blatant. It was absolutely blatant. She didn't. She didn't campaign in any place other than the major minority cities. Hmm. Well, I, uh, but wait a minute. Well, yeah, you're right. I mean, t Trump did go to some of those smaller towns, didn't he? And yeah, those rallies. Mean, Trump Trump example, stayed in all the white places. He went all to white yeah, areas, yeah. and that's what he won. Yeah. yeah. Aryan? Did you say? No, white. Oh, white. Aryan. That's, Aryan. That's, yeah. Every yeah, they said white oh, Aryan. Uh, yeah, well, white that's Aryan. That's what I was saying when I was uh, called in one time, too, that Trump went to the small little village that I grew up in, and then he was talking about the black vote, telling the blacks to vote exactly. for him. I remember that, yep. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, Ted, where do you think she went wrong? You think that it was it was uh, uh, concentrating on that minority vote? Well, in uh, many ways she went wrong, but one of the most recent ones was when she had all the pop performers uh, backing her up. I don't think, uh, you know, I mean, it might have appealed to the young millennials, you know, which is, to me just says, well, maybe we should raise the voting age to 30 when you can have pop performers influencing uh, young people. That's ridiculous. But uh, the reason that went wrong is because, the reason that I think that was wrong is because the rest of America, who's not under 30, went, what the hell? She's got, she's got all these people, you know, like Katy Perry and, um, you know, Lady Gaga and, and you know, Jay and Beyonce. I, you know? I, 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 mean, I don't think, I don't think those people do anything for the candidate. You know, I agree with you on that. I, yeah. I, I mean, they, I don't uh, think they did either. I'll, although I will say, is, I will say that Chachi's yeah. running around now going, who's laughing now? Yeah, <laughs> I'm his Facebook friend. You just saw his page before. Isn't he going to be in the cabinet or something? Oh, jeez. Charles in charge. Uh, Jason. I think where she went wrong is she was actually a realist talking about what she could do and what she couldn't do. 
and run the government and she wasn't full of lipstick and lollipops saying I'm going to bring every single job back from Mexico and China and America is going to be so great and so awesome. Everybody's going to be able to have a job and a good paying job because we're going to make everything here again. He's such full of shit that he's not going to bring any of these fucking jobs back. And then, But then people are dumb enough to fall for it and vote for him because, yeah, we're going to bring all these jobs back from these dirty Mexicans and dirty Chinese. Well, he's in a unique position in that... He comes from, a, as a complete outsider, all he can do, he can criticize all he wants. He's not responsible for anything. He hasn't any idea how to fix anything, but he can, he can point everything that's wrong out, and people want to give him a chance to fix it, even though he doesn't have any chops to fix it. Because that's what they want in that, you know, and he can yeah. sit there just like he said with Obama, you know, how when he said day one, I'm going to close Guantanamo, but he didn't know all the ins and outs about it. And Guantanamo is still open because he didn't know what he can do. And right. Trump just, he knows what you want to hear. Trump and he, know, you know, he doesn't know he can do anything about it or not. So he's going to sit there and tell you, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. But he can never give you a detail because he doesn't know what the fuck he can do. Right. Yeah. And, uh, uh but he uh, and he could say he's going to bring back factories to all these people. But if they, if anybody in this day and age believes that they would even recognize what one of those factories would look like today. Uh, maybe gonna, like five people he, pushing some buttons. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to be putting all those people back to work because you bring a factory back to a town. So I listened to NPR today and one of his promises that he was going to bring a coal plant back to life. A coal plant. And also, Alex, this is a big deal. We have really sort of, you know, kind of wishy-washy relationships with China, but China warned us not to elect him. And now that they've elected him and he's talking about not uh, living up to the Paris climate change uh, Kyoto, whatever it was, yeah. Yeah. they're really having a problem with this. So China is getting pretty pissed, and I'm pretty sure they're on a sh we're on a their short leash kind of thing. So a coal plant, really, a coal plant. We're going to rectify a coal plant. I have to say one thing, and I want you to yeah, it's Tony. By I don't the like way. Trump. Yeah, but the one thing I like, if he says he's going to do, I like the idea of taxing the stuff that's coming from overseas to the United States. Fair you enough, want to hit a thirty-five percent tariff? I say you do it. Uh huh. And, <laughs> and, and, and then you know, you know what they'll do? Yeah. Thirty-five. You know what they'll do? Thirty-five percent yeah. more for every computer you buy. To begin well, with, they're they, not buying American because they're buying China first because it's cheaper. That's why the American but don't, the show. don't you understand that China needs us less than we need China? Yeah, that's the problem. Exactly. Right? And then all they have to do is say, you want to impose a 40% tariff? That's okay, we're going to put, put, oh, put a 40% tariff on you. The, the amount of land that they own within the United States? It's it, not such a crazy idea, though, if you think about it. No, all the talk show host's wives that work for them? Yeah. <laughs> Max. <laughs> all you have to do is right now, or after the show, look around your house, pick up any random item, and just look where it's made in. Yes, I I'll bet you what 80, 85 to ninety percent of it's made in China, made in Pakistan, right. made in Taiwan, mm -hmm. made in somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So if that's the case, there's your answer. Yeah, I mean, I mean, that's kind of a. If you didn't like NAFTA, then you got to do something about it. That's the only thing I like it. Because that, that was a bad policy. Everybody wants simplistic answers to extremely complex issues, and Donald Trump. He, you know, he went out there and he pointed out everything that's wrong. And anybody, any one of us could do that. And he's going to try to implement simplistic answers. What you do, what you do is, you know, the problem isn't that China is the problem. Uh, because China isn't. China's sitting there getting all this American business. Uh -huh. And what you have to say is American companies who are not producing the products here should have to pay a higher tariff for doing it somewhere else other than the United States. Now, that might make some kind of sense. You can do it for both. Why not do it for both? No, no because, because uh, you know, um, why, why penalize China for the fact that Apple wants to have all their iPhones made in China because it's cheaper than making them here? Let oh, those, that might give let, them some incentive to build their plant here, and that's the whole point well, of that's, the tariff. But. Well, no, what I'm saying is uh, they should bu build their plant here anyway. You know, what an iPhone cost if it was built here? 
And they say it's fifty dollars more. It might be a change in the printing. Yeah. By the by the way, uh, we have been joined by Phil, who has gotten in here just in the nick of time because we now have a full house. If he hadn't called before, we had a full house. He wouldn't have been able to get on. Uh, yeah. I will what, what were you yeah. saying, Phil? Uh, the uh, I don't have the ability to do a picture. Oh, okay. Well, that's probably because you're the ninth person in uh -huh. in the queue, as it were. Uh -huh. Well, let me, let me hang up because I don't have a picture, oh, and then I'll call right back. No, okay. no, no. Uh, 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 it doesn't matter. Okay, that's, yeah, that, well, I don't know if that'll matter, but let's try that, Ted. Okay. okay. Right All right, let's see. Let's see what happens. We don't that actually might matter. Yeah, it actually yeah, I just turned off my camera thinking Oops. that maybe that would help, and then the uh, camera yeah. just up and uh, out came back. Uh, yeah, I got the ability to do it. There, there we go. There, there you go. See? Wow. Isn't that, uh, isn't that, let me get all these people back here. Okay, add him to the group call. Uh, we've got Max back and uh, all the pictures of the various uh, people. Oh, wait a minute, I got to, oh, damn it. Hold on a second, folks. What am I going to do here? Uh, hey, Phil, since I haven't listened in a while on your scuba trip, did you ever end up meeting up with David Hajek? Oh, yeah. Uh, no, David uh, wasn't going to come to the uh, West Coast. Uh, I was disappointed. I thought that uh, he was going to ride down with me to uh, Santa Barbara and uh, then, you know, tour a little bit around from there. But he said that he, he wasn't coming to the West Coast. He was going to go to the East Coast, and I thought he was going to have lunch with Alex. But uh, I, I'm not sure if that happened either. Right. Well, anyway, uh, where were we? Uh, and we got Ted back, so now we have a full house. For the yep. fourth time this week, a full house. Yeah, and, and everybody's got a picture except Ted because he's on a, a, a an phone. iPad. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 but, I, I, but you got in in the nick of time, Phil. You might have actually been, uh, if somebody else had called, the person I would not be able to pick up. Right. Or well, the yeah. person you wouldn't want to pick up. <laughs> so. Well, Phil, you know, I like the balance that you bring to this panel, even though it's infuriating sometimes. <laughs> and, and uh, you know, I, I, I like it when I've got Ted here with you and maybe even t uh, even um, um, uh, Patrick. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, I'm, I don't run a show that wants to talk to nothing but people who agree with me. That's mm -hmm. no fun. You, you know. don't you don't want to use the dittos or anything like no, that. No, I want people Mega dittos. Look, Mega dittos, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm not the answer to everything, yeah. almost everything, but not everything. Yeah. Uh, Why, yeah, and, yeah. And so I I do like the uh, excuse me, folks. If I'm rubbing my nose tonight, but I got this one hair, that, <laughs> and I could try to yank it out of my nose, but then that would really look terrible. I've always <laughs> found out the one that really bothers me is always a gray hair. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Every yeah. time I like got one that's really bothering me, I yank it out. I'm like, dude, it's pure gray, you know, or white, and like this. Yeah. I swear, I think they're thicker. Yeah. You're always down on the white people. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, the, especially the thicker white people. <laughs> yeah, really, I'm very thick. Hey, Alex, I read a post from you. I don't know if you talked about it, uh, or, or, uh, because. Uh, I was working, but uh, uh, you were saying that Medicare was uh, being threatened by uh, the Republicans or the Trump. Well, I, this is what I hear because I don't watch the news. Yeah. Okay, and and it was Paul Ryan who said that the first order of business for him is to get rid of Medicare. Well, I mean, privatize it. Privatize it with vouchers. Yeah, uh, I think Paul Ryan uh, is is probably on thin ice when it comes to uh, suggesting anything that uh, that Trump isn't going to suggest. Uh, and you know, I I wrote back every you know everybody was saying, oh, you know, kill this one, kill that. Uh, I I just said the sky is falling, the sky is falling. You know, it, it's uh, the guy's not even in office yet. Uh, he hasn't uh, made any proposals whatsoever, and everything he's done since the moment that he was elected has been first class. And did you hear him uh, tonight talking to no, about I, his I, I, ha I have no idea what's happening in the news. Right. I mean, the sky could be falling in, and I wouldn't know. Yeah. 
Uh, well, Rob wants to say something. I'll... I want to say something. I want to ask you something, Phil. I, before you got on, I don't know if you were listening, but uh, I had said that uh, one of the things I had lunch with a buddy of mine today, and I said, and, you know, trying to feel good a little bit. I said, you know, one of the things mentioning, you know, the trilateral commission and all the stuff that you believe in that the presidents are pre, you know, but they, yeah. Right. Do you believe now that that's all bullshit, that we really do have the freedom in this country to elect a guy, good or bad? No, I think that the only reason Trump got elected was that he went against those people and he won. Uh, I, You know, the people have finally gotten an opportunity that they haven't had for the last Here, Here's the stupidity, though, Phil. Uh, 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 Trump always said he was the outsider and he was the guy that was going to drain the swamp. And the thing is, he's filling it up with all the stuff he's just drained the swamp with. Just, if you, if just you listen, if, 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 uh, uh, yeah, uh, wait a minute, hold on a second, uh, Ted. Ted, would you quit, quit kind of moving your phone around? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm digging the shovel. Let me put it on you. <laughs> oh, <shovel? laughs> Hang on. He's shoveling the shit. But <laughs> no, but, he, but I mean, Newt Gingrich is part of that old line. I mean, all these people. About something. What? As, as a Republican, put yourself in a Republican shoes. Newt Gingrich got more done uh, in his administration. I don't give a his, shit. I know He's you don't like what he No, did. I'm not saying. I'm not, Clinton I'm, was I'm, willing I'm, to not, work with Congress. I'm not questioning. I'm not questioning the qualities of, of Newt Gingrich, which, if we get into that are uh, a multitude of sins, but sure. I'm talking yeah. about the fact that he said he was going to drain the swamp, and right. what he's done is he's taken everything that was in that swamp okay. and, 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 and it are, are bringing it into his administration. Okay. Newt Gingrich First. was part of that swamp. Uh, 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 all these people that he's okay. talking about. Rudy Giuliani was part of that swamp. Got to remember, Rudy Giuliani hasn't held office in many, oh, many years. I'm, that's not what you don't get. What I'm saying, Phil. He's saying he's going to get rid of business as usual, and he's hiring all the business as usual people. He's also going to have to figure out a way to work with these people and and get things done. Uh, you, you, so, you're, you're making excuses, Phil. He it no, goes against listening. the very fabric. No, I'm listening to you, but it goes. But you're not listening to me. It goes against the very fabric of what. Uh, the, he said he was going to do. Okay, can I say one thing before you give yeah. Jason the floor? Yeah. Uh, Chris Christie being demoted today, uh, he's uh, using Pence as his transition team, uh, the head to head the transition team. He's also brought in his family. He's brought oh. in Jared Kushner. Uh, and uh, so he has people from all walks, both political and non-political, to navigate this. Once he gets his transition team and his cabinet appointments and, and the other appointments that he's going to have to make, and there are thousands of them. There's 1,100 people that have that. What, what, do you, what do you say about the theory that he didn't even want to be president? He is now, and he seems to be doing what he needs to do. So whether he wanted to or he didn't want to, mm -hmm. he spent a lot of money for something he didn't want. Jason had his hand up. Jason. I was just going to ask, do we know for a fact that he's not a trilateralist or any of these other uh, secret society people? No, and the people that he's putting in power, are they maybe part of something? You know, do we know that for a fact, Phil? No. So, you know, that maybe I think throws Jeff that out Sessions, the window, too, though. Yeah, but I don't think Jeff Sessions, Chris Christie, or uh, uh, I'm not so sure about Pence, but uh, Chris Christie just got demoted. Maybe that's why. And Pence is going to take over. Stuff. Yeah. Well, you know, Pence was a six-term congressman and a governor, and uh, you know, he is the pitcher boy Republican, don't you think? Yeah. Just look wise and attitude. He is just. He's like if they made a Republican Ken doll. He also like believes Pence. that you can that you can cure homosexuality. Oh yeah. right, right. You know, yeah. he, he yeah. he's in for a lot of stuff that is just evil. Just purely well, evil. You know, there are a lot of people that aren't evil that feel uh, that homosexuality is a choice. And, uh, well, they're, they're crazy. Yeah, yeah, you choose to live crazy. your life or wait you minute, don't. Wait a minute, yeah. uh, has heterosexuality become your choice? It's uh, not choice. We've not proven lately. The no, 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 uh, no. With the pills I'm no, taking. <laughs> no, no, I'm saying, was heterosexuality a choice you made? No. Yes. It was something you were. Oh, you made that choice, Phil? Really? You could have gone uh, really? the other way? You mean you were gay and you made that choice? I wasn't gay. Was that invitation? Well, I, was, I, was <laughs> I, uh, I, I was had no, I had, I had no I, ability to yeah. not be heterosexual. 
Well, I, I don't you know, know that I have an ability not to be heterosexual either because I haven't tried. Uh, All I'm saying is you can't take but, you can't take somebody who's gay and make them straight. It is an aesthetic at the very least. Yeah, at the very would, most, it is something that is in inherent in your in your very core of your I, being i think it's all an aesthetic wow well that I, that I, that we don't disagree it. on some people like dick some people like pussy yes charlene had her hand up first then you renee oh i just wanted to you know throw that name out there uh, maybe that it's not going to happen but didn't he say when he was running amorosa or i heard amorosa from the apprentice was going to be in his uh Cabinet or something, or that was that's a myth. Yeah, that's not a myth. No. Really? He's hearing. No. Maybe Honey Boo Boo will be in yeah. there too. Right. No, 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 no. She's, she's too young. She's too young. Mama June. Some, yeah. Some guy that. Uh, oh wait a minute! Wait a minute! She can't be in the Bush in the Trump administration because she's a fat pig. He oh, and then he said she's seen everything that wasn't nailed down. The guy yeah, out here said he thinks Condoleezza Rice. With, that was uh, terrible, but I, I guess instead of Omarosa, he voted for Trump, and terrible. he thinks she would be an excellent person to have in your cabinet. He loves I, Condoleezza Rice. He told well, she's him. another, but she's another swamp person. Yeah, yeah I mean, well, they're I all, they're all the part of the swamp. Too, though, didn't she? You, you yeah, know yeah. something? Yeah. You know something? That's if 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 he were going to live up to what he was saying when he yeah. was running, we wouldn't know the names. We wouldn't know any of these people he's mentioning. Right. right. Well, none mm -hmm. of them have been chosen yet. They're all being looked at. I think Rudy's got a job. Rudy Giuliani is going to be the the head of the Justice Department. He's going to be the Attorney General. Not necessarily, because uh, they're saying he's got so much baggage that he won't get approved by the oh, Christie, uh, right? Christie. Uh, yeah. No. Uh, no. no Christie. Yeah. You know, Christie. Giuliani. And, well, uh, and, uh, I think Christie is being forgotten. And, yeah. At he's this being. Point. A, but I don't know. I haven't watched the news. I haven't seen it for three days. Uh, oh. First Renee, then uh, Matt. Well, he specifically, Trump oh. specifically said that he was going to get people from the private sector to negotiate yeah. with China and so on. And he, right. yeah, so he implied that all of his people were going to be non-political type people. Maybe not all of them, but uh, at least yeah. the majority and so far. I don't think he's had anyone other than He's going to fill it with his well. kids. He, he's, well, well, he, has a job in but the he, he, Well, he, hiring his kids is a form of draining the swamp. Uh, Renee, <laughs> then Max. Uh, Mike's pres Mike Pence, your next vice president, believes, in, believes that gay conversion therapy works and that gays need to go through that. It Hello? worked on him anyway. <laughs> <laughs> right. And he'll make the government pay for that. That's something that they'll they'll make you do if you're a homosexual. Uh, right? And uh, Max in Berlin. Medicare will pay for it. Oh, so to say uh, for the cabinet that Trump might try to use, there's a process vetting. It's just an FBI investigation for the top secret clearance classification yeah. or uh, national security clearance. Not an easy process to go through. So I'm wondering, there's like, someone here said 1,100 positions. Yeah, I'm wondering so. what percentage of his choices will actually pass the process of, uh, of, of admission just to get in. Otherwise, you can't see it. You were not invited to the table. That's an interesting, that's an interesting question, though, because do they, do they vet presidents, the presidential candidates, before no. the election. So what happens if you're elected and then you can't get top secret clearance? That'd be uh, awesome. I President, think President that Trump if you're elected, you get it. No, it can't be that if you yeah, get elected. You you're just the commander in chief. Wait, wait, wait. wait what, 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 I'm he trying. was vetted before they released the security information to him. Uh, yeah. but I, don't, I don't think so. I think they have to he give him that information. Vetted. Look, if he got a security briefing from the FBI or the CIA, Wait. he was vetted before They that. gave it to Obama, and he wasn't even born here. <laughs> oh, I see, Renee, he's on the back of the ocean. Actually, he really wasn't born here. In what we've <laughs> had so far, because there have been so many insiders, some of these people probably have already been vetted. But for a Donald Trump, who's never been inside the government, what happens if he was, let's just say he was working with China? Oh, Joe Alec Bowles, or you know, or Russia, or whatever. You're gonna just now because he got because he won the election. We're gonna suddenly bypass everything that says you know security. You know, uh, all of, all of the the security that goes into. I know I had to go through it for a. That's, if that's security. the case, then Hillary would never have been qualified to be president. Well, I have top secret. I had, I got top secret clearance when but, I was in the Navy. 
Oh, two, days, two days, oh, women, two days, women, two, this is to tell you how great our government is. I, uh, the first day that I went to work at the Armed Forces Radio and Television Service, they started doing my background for top secret clearance because there was a, 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 a what do you call it, a, a code thing in the, in the building. You had to have top secret clearance. And I was always worried about it because there were some commies in my family past, you know. Oh, shit. But uh, I went for the better part of a year and a half. And about two days before I was being uh, mustered out of the Navy, or mustered out of Armed Forces Radio and Television Service, uh, they came to me and said, congratulations, you've just passed and you have top secret clearance. Well, you know, uh, all that time I could have been like rifling through everything and sending yeah. it to the communists and all of that. But two days before I got out, these congratulations. Oh, then you didn't hear about my aunt who was a member of the Communist Party? You know. Yes, my, Bill. My store manager spent eight years on a nuclear submarine. Nuclear. Uh, nuclear. And uh, <laughs> nuclear. Here. Uh, so, here. so anyway, uh, he has Q clearance, which uh, they go back to your third grade teacher, uh, oh, and, and it's it's a fifty thousand dollar. It was a. It might be more now. It used to cost the FBI fifty thousand dollars to for, to do uh, a clearance to that level, and uh, Q gives you the ability to deal with nuclear assets, and it's also the same uh, that I think that you need to get into the White House. Well, back in my day, the the Cadillac of clearance was a thing called crypto top secret. Yeah. Hey, it's big business down here in the D.C. area. Really. Oh, it's big business. If you could get a top secret clearance in, in the IT industry, you've, you're set. Yes. Charlene yeah. had her hand up. No, I'm sorry, but, you know, you started talking about all this vetting and whatever. Uh, like, he's never been convicted, um, but whatever happened to, they, they say Trump uh, is a child molester or something. And it, what is that? Is that like some... Uh, Crazy. Yes. It's a, oh, okay, it doesn't even. That's not true. On the other hand, what ha what happens to the suit that uh, the, the yeah, government? The yeah, there is a the suit pending or something. Right? Yeah. She, dropped, she dropped. Oh, she it. dropped it. Okay. No, but no, 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 but there, no, but there's a lawsuit he, with that. He uh, paid her off. They, they no, got paid no, off, no, 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 no. There's Trump a law. There's a law. There's a law. The Trump University thing. Yeah. That was still going on. Yeah, yeah. that's the one I'm referring to. Yeah, yeah. No, she's talking about the rape victim. Rape yeah, but I but I wasn't talking about the rape ago. victim. I was talking about the uh, when I said he still has, and and it is still going on. By the way, Amy, I'm sorry I can't take your call, ah. Amy, because uh, we have a full house here, and if I take you and put you on, then uh, she usually only calls in for a minute, right? Why yeah, not just put her on? Well, and because it, then it takes me a I'm while for everybody fun. to come back again, and we're doing TV night tonight, so I don't want you know. She's got I, her I, own I, show. Yeah. yeah she's got they, her own show. Uh, exactly. Alfano has a vet. So it's not even that he needs to be vetted. He, he owns has his a own vet. vet. Yeah. Oh, right, right. Uh, the vet. But it, it, excuse me, folks, for doing this all night, but my nose is itching something fierce. No, Amy, listen to your, listen online and realize that I can't take your call. All right? Because we have a full house. See, the button is so far away to turn on and off the feed from the... Oh, okay. Some, somebody's see. digging a hole and they're on mute, so maybe... You could... Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I've never had anybody on this show ever be on the show and digging a hole at the same time. Well, that's the nice. only person who's... Okay, allowed... I guess I'm the first. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Look, Amy, I can't take you. So Ted, I mean, in, in fact, Amy, it's getting downright annoying. Oh, what happened to Renee? What happened to Renee? Uh, I don't know, but Ed Scott. They all jumped out to let Amy on. So now you gotta no, take Amy. No, 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 they didn't. Yeah, they gone. Yeah, they did. Yeah, but they're Scott gone. Scott said think... he was gonna drop out. Yeah, he waved goodbye. Oh, Scott said he was gonna drop out. Oh. Yeah. Well, now Amy, I guess, could call in. But, <laughs> you know. Uh, uh, but now we're we we have uh, the ability for what? Two more people, Phil, by your count. Uh, six, eight, yes. Two, two people. Okay, so Amy, if you want to call now, you can. Okay. <laughs> so Ted, what what are you doing? You digging uh, uh digging a hole to throw the uh the old Democrats in, or? <laughs> oh, I'm, not as, uh, I'm not quite as uh, violent as you, Phil. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Uh, 
Wait a minute. I'm just yeah. Billy, Billy, the Billy the Hulk to bury my guilt for voting for Trump. Uh, <laughs> you know, there's big protests going on now, too. Yeah, it's usually doing in Portland. They're going crazy. It's third night or something, right? Yeah, Oakland and uh, Portland, a number, a number of places. But back Alex would not. Back to the fact, though. Right, yeah. so Amy sent me a note just now saying the the victim, they they stopped the case because of the victim. And that wasn't what I was referring to. I was referring to the uh, Trump. Uh, the Trump the, you. The, What's Trump going you. on with the Trump you? He's going to have to. By the way, eat. what happened to Renee? Uh, I don't know. She might have just had a bandwidth thing. I don't know. Maybe just, the volcano just blow. The, the volcano problems. They were always. They always can cause a problem. You know. Um, but the, uh, call back, everybody. Renee, if you can. Call back. Yeah, the Trump you thing. He uh, ripped everybody off with tuition for Trump University or something. What's that? Hey, like, you know. I, I was the. It was the only place I would ever be able to get a diploma from. Listen, I want to bring. This, I want to bring this back again. Uh, because maybe Renee's mad at me because I said that uh, the, you know, oh, I'll text her. The, the, uh, the, the, um, oh, the, the thing that the, the, petition? the, the petitions, you know, nah, does anybody nah. ever know them ever doing anything? Hmm? Oh, you know, the, they, oh, we're going to have uh, a petition to get rid of the electoral college. And the fact is, yeah, it's not going to do anything. But you know, at the same time as ever complaining to the post office ever done anything, and you like to do that. Well, I, I've stopped complaining. I, I know I'm never going to get that problem solved. But so we'll take the two seconds and sign it. No, but what I'm saying is, oh, here comes Renee. Here comes Renee again. Okay, there she is. Okay. Hi, Renee. Are you okay now? Yeah, I'm not mad at you. I was just making room for Amy. Oh, no. Well, let me know if you're going to do that because Scott did it. And so, yeah, and now Amy's not this. calling; she's just writing. So right. you know, it doesn't. It it, it, it it was to no avail. Yes, uh, Max. It's just like Brexit vote when the England the, the initial vote counted, and now they're doing now they're trying to now they're doing the Article 15 to kick out UK that they voted themselves out of. Even though the, even if there's a second, third, or fourth vote, it doesn't negate the first vote which which voted the exit. Right. So just like that. It's the same here with our vote. So yeah. we've already voted. We've already dug our own grave. Okay. This is it. Yep. We have to accept it for what it is and make the good use of the next four years. Yeah, we have a full house once again. Hello, Amy. I couldn't take you before because I had a full house and that would have kicked certain people off. So oh, that's, that's fine. Yeah. That's why I um, I stopped trying to call and just started sending messages. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no. Um, so... There was a question earlier about the 13-year-old that he allegedly raped and beat up and threatened her life and her family's if she ever told anyone. And he said he would make her disappear, and she already had a friend who had disappeared. He said, I'll make you disappear like your friend Maria. And there was a witness. The witness was the party planner, the, the woman that was in charge of going and finding these young women and telling them she was going to make them models. And these parties that they were putting on were going around, around town. They went on all the time. And they were not exactly unknown to a whole lot of people. Mm -hmm. Um. It, it, Epstein went to prison over it. Amy, all these conspiracies, it'd just be a lot easier just to say Trump wasn't born in this country. Well, I'm, no, I'm, I'm no, saying... No, this is, this is quite different. There were, there just, were three lawsuits. Yeah. Her life, she was about to come forward and reveal who she was uh, within two days. And the threats on her life got so extreme. And if you don't think that's going on... Let me tell you about the journalists who are being threatened, who are getting um, pictures sent to them. Uh, one journalist, his daughter in an oven. This is wow. real. These people like are this. horrible. What, what were you, you saying? Like like yeah. <laughs> it's a, a white uh, supremacist or something that would tweet things like that and not Donald Trump or his minions. Uh, these are his. Steve Bannon is a white supremacist. That's his CEO and on his transition team. Phil, do you need to see Donald Trump's robe? Uh, <laughs> I mean, really. He's also rumored to be considered for chief of staff. 
Yeah. 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 Well, chief of staff, you see, chief of staff isn't a, um, how can I put it this way? It's not like he's the head of a, of a department. You know, he's simply the conciliore to the, to the president, <laughs> you know. Uh, What's his well, qualifications? The, the, the qualifications are that's Nazi that, white supremacists. But the, 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 the on the team. Enough. There are multiple ones. Roger well, Stone. Well, no, wait, wait, wait. Okay, Amy, Amy. Uh, uh, I, I would like to believe that Steve B is Bannon. Is it pronounced? Or Ban uh, yes. Bannon uh, is a is a uh, is a white supremacist. But I haven't seen any proof of that. Now, what's your proof? Not well, hearsay. He said, not hearsay. Hey, proof. I, I, this is not hearsay. This is from his mouth that he made Breitbart the home, the news outlet for the alt-right. And the alt-right is just a nice word, a dressed up, cleaned up word for white supremacists. Well, you know, I don't know. I don't know if that's necessarily true. Associating. I just, it's I would feel. That's a real thing. It's not uh, real. To begin with the term it's alt. Really leave the, the trilateral commission and all that. But and you it's will... none of that. This is. <laughs> Actual, uh, no, but wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. But you're, you're saying that the term alt right meant white supremacist, and what I took it to mean was just severely to the right people. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and no, now, some not of those at all. people, <laughs> some of those people are white supremacists, but you know. Uh, James, so he's yeah, I mean, I'm trying, I'm trying to be fair here, Amy, and 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 uh, to begin with, I think the term alt right, if I'm not mistaken was not created by Steve Bannon, but was created, I think, by Barack Obama in a no. speech he made, or somebody in the Democratic Party who started calling the predominant th feelings in the in the Republican Party as the alt-right, and the people who had grabbed hold of it as the alt-right. Yeah. It says here, I, I just Googled it, the alt-right is a segment of right-wing ideologies that reject mainstream conservatism in the United States. It's largely internet-based and found on websites for uh, such as 4chan and 8chan, where anonymous members create and use internet memes, memes. to express, memes. Memes. To express right. themselves. It's difficult to tell how much of what people write is serious and how much is intended to provoke outrage. Um, it, the alt-right uses social media like Twitter, Breitbart News to convey their message. Um, it doesn't it doesn't list here who uh, where it came like who or it's like uh, Wikipedia for uh, for the right wing. <laughs> you know? well, all I'm saying is that I've never heard alt-right to necessarily uh, uh, say I, that it's um, you know that it's it's white supremacist. Well, white supremacists could probably be considered alt-right, but. Uh, I, I, I don't know that that's necessarily true. I mean, I would like to believe that Steve Bannon is a white supremacist, okay? I would love to agree with you, but I want the proof so I can feel real good about saying it. Yeah, um, just go to Stephen, excuse me, go to Breitbart and Google and put his Steve K. Bannon in, mm -hmm. and you will see all of the wonderful things that this jackass has done. Like, give us a, give us a, a little couple of things there. Um, he said, "Oh, the uh, Roger Ailes getting uh, getting rid of Roger Ailes out of Fox was a plot. It wasn't real. It was just a plot." Yeah, um, but you say that because he's your friend and you uh, want to yeah, say I'm something. I'm just kind of reading. No, no, no. no I'm saying that that's why why he would say something. All right, like that. I'm at the SPLC. Uh, do you know what that is? Some poverty law center. Yeah. Uh, here's sure. what it says. Okay, a former staffer has accused Bannon of running meetings at Breitbart like white supremacist rallies. Ben Shapiro, formerly of Breitbart News, has gone so far as to claim that under Bannon's leadership, Breitbart has, and this is a quote, Breitbart has become the alt-right go-to website with Milo Yiannopoulos. Uh, Whatever. Do you know that Andrew white ethno nationalism as a legitimate response to political correctness and the comment section turning into a cesspool for white supremacist meme makers. Do you know that Andrew Bright Breitbart is Jewish? No, he I was. He's dead. He's dead. Oh. This is who <laughs> you didn't over. know that? So was oh. Ben Shapiro. So is Ben Shapiro. He, That's he, why he, he left. Two thousand twelve. Yeah, yeah, he's dead, Phil. I was just looking up Breitbart News. Yeah. 
Uh, and, and this is the guy who pretty much took it over when Breitbart right. died. So. so what is it that we're, you know, we've gotten all of these horrific information, what's happening to these minority children, and, and he hasn't even taken office. So what is it that you think the next four years is going to look like under a Trump presidency? Excuse me, I just threw up in my mouth. I, I think it's going to be fair and balanced to tell you the oh, truth. God, God. Well, there is a possibility, okay, and this is the only bright little part of this that I can think of. To begin with, it's a question right. of how much control he wants to have and how much he wants to defer to Pence. Okay, that's for starters. But you have to remember that up until very recently, Trump was a liberal. So, you know, he grew up as a liberal. He, he voted as a liberal. He gave money to liberal <laughs> causes and to, and, and more specifically, to like uh, the candidacy uh, years ago of, of, of uh, Hillary Clinton. He is so, a, so, a like, hedonistic authoritarian, well, yeah, no, whereas no, no, no. his, his uh, but that's not VP the, is no, a theocratic no. authoritarian. Yeah, but anyway, but the point I'm making is, is that it could well be that deep down he's been playing the conservatives' uh, game in order to get elected because he knew he couldn't get nominated in the Democratic Party, but maybe he could do it in the Republican. Uh, I think the Republicans are not going to be happy with him because I think that when it comes down, when push comes to shove, some reason may come into play. Now, I may be wrong, but that's the hope we can all have because we have no other choice but hope at this point. This, this yeah, Alex, can I say something? Wait a minute, Ted? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What, why you might be correct on that is, as you know, it's all about his ego, his money. All his life has been about that, okay, and his children and that they, you know, can carry on with his, you know, legacy and all that. And the best way for him to do that, right now his name is mud, okay? The people are boycotting his hotels. They're having, you know, protests in front of his hotels. Now, if he was suddenly to turn another leaf and become middle of the road and really try and get everyone together, then he, his name would be golden, and he would <laughs> be rich forever. And that's what he's trying to do. But what about to all of his supporters who didn't want to bring a middle of the rotor in? He didn't it's have too, too late. He's won. He's won. He cares. I right? don't think, if, if, Rob. I can I be honest about it? I don't think that all those idiots who voted for him in the in the rural areas of the country were voting for him because he was a conservative. I think they were voting for him because the guy was saying, "I'll give you jobs," uh, and they're also afraid. Uh, they're all they're all uh, they're all xenophobes. And he was playing to their xenophobia. Well, no, but you know, but, but they didn't vote flippers. for him because they thought he was going to, you know, be a conservative. Uh, I'm sorry, Alex. There's a lot of people that are hurting. I'm tired of hearing that, Phil. I'm tired huh? of hearing that. You well, know what? I, I'm tired yeah. of hearing that, you know, that he's Look, a xenophobe. No, no, no. Uh, I no, have, he is. No, I, I didn't say Mexican's he was a xenophobe. I didn't say, he, I, I didn't say he was a xenophobe, Phil. I said he promoted xenophobia. I'm, t I'm talking about your, your a lot of people are hurting comment. Right. I'm 60 years old. I started out in a radio career. I moved to television. All of that was drying up because the technology and things were changing. I have I went into IT. I learned one technology that died. I had to learn another technology to stay relevant. I now am in a different field of the IT world. I have reinvented myself to make something of myself and not get left behind. I don't have any... I don't have sympathy for folks who had a big piece of sheet metal, they put it in the machine, they, they, they uh, bent it a certain way, and then passed it on to someone else. And then they expect to be taken care of. These people raise families. Bob which, makes a good point. How, how, how can you be I have I, a terrible point? How can you be adapting to society? Just because, because Rob was able to pull himself up by the bootstraps he and reinvent the Hold on a second. I'm going to get people, you, Max. I thought that was a Republican way. Hold on a second. Yeah, it is. Hold. But you see, these, these people. Wait a minute. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, you can't be sympathetic for certain people, but you can be damn right sympathetic. For oh, these no. other people, it's amazing. I want to the me. jobs to come back here. I don't. I, I don't want jobs. Uh, you don't care that changing the Medicare system is going to kill people. They're not going to change the Medicare system. You're. You're just. You're just. Uh, well, they, 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 the fact like, that they're saying they want to, off. they're saying they want to, shows a lack of any kind of humanity in them. It's, it's Paul Ryan. Anyway, uh, uh, Max. Max. I was going to say, anyone who's been in the military knows. 
Not one person can do everything. Someone has to be a commander. Someone has to fix the vehicles. Someone has to be a shooter or sniper. Someone, I mean, it takes a team of, uh, someone has to be a medic. So someone's, I'm not, I'm not defending the, the people who've been the medal. I do IT, I'm also no, 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 I'm not, teach. I'm not, so I'm not it's saying. more of, uh, it takes yeah. a team. It takes people who are well-skilled in whatever they do. I mean, let's face it. Um, I'd rather, I mean, yes, I would, yes, I, I clean up my own place. Would I rather, would I, would I rather be a janitor in a, in a uh, big building? No. These, but my, people, I, these people didn't have to lose those jobs. Those jobs were shipped out of this country by greedy uh, trilateralists that, like, uh, Trump. Uh, that, uh, that, that wanted to make more money at the expense where, where of... Where were Trump's of, ties of, being made? Yeah, where did he get his steel for his building? Well, you can't buy China. steel in this country. If yes, you, you want to get yes, steel, you can. Yes, you can, can Phil. Very, Phil, very, yes, you can. You're supposed to by law. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I remember that one. Yeah. He, he broke the law no, when you, he did it, that. Where, where do like you get this information, the law that, law that, information that they don't make steel yeah. in America any longer? They built the Bay Bridge with Chinese steel. Well, maybe they did, but you can still get steel here in the United States. Very, there's no way Donald Trump, if he didn't want to deal with China. All his clothes were made. All his clothes were made there. The steel he put in his building came from there. No, but you're using that as an excuse. He could have his clothing made here. Yeah. It would no, wait a minute. Let me finish. It would just be that it would not be give him as big a profit margin on that clothing because he couldn't make it as cheaply here. Yeah, but if the le playing ground was leveled with uh, the countries that are bringing products into here, it would put the jobs back here, and you'd have. But, a you know, something that's a complete job. myth. Complete myth. It's, it's, Tell it's me what a job. total myth. Okay. It's, it's sort of like cutting well, taxes. There was a there was a Chrysler plant tonight on the news that had been closed for the last six years. Uh, the whole town is dying, and, and uh, it's in Michigan. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, you're probably going to tell me it's in Warren, one of these plants that are being shut down to be retooled to build another no, no, vehicle. This, aren't you? this one looks like it's a uh, uh, a field now. There's no way this one could be retooled. You'd have to. Uh, knock it's, it down. It's, I'll tell you that's not true. I just saw it on the news. The well, I'll tell you it's not true because I live here. You well, forget I, I work in Chrysler know, plants but, almost every day. I don't know that it was in Warren. Well, I saw it on the news tonight. You're talking to a guy who lives in that area, it's, deals with people in that area. Yeah. And you're not going to believe him? did you see it on? I uh, CBS. Right. 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 <laughs> CBS TV. Yeah, well, that's why I don't watch the news any longer. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, I, they, they went in. They I uh, already they feel smarter. They interviewed people in the town, in the bar, that, uh, you know, no, workers aren't going into any longer because there aren't any workers. And, you know, uh, you can buy houses in Michigan and Detroit for a dollar. They'll give it to you. Why? Because, you know, the, the place has been devastated and uh, and it's devastated because all the jobs moved out of there. Ford plant is going to move down to Mexico. Let's see. Phil, Phil uh, you need to know the whole story about that because that's coming out with Chrysler, too. Not a single person is losing their job because of that. They're moving small car production to Mexico so they can retool these plants to build other more popular vehicles. So, so, they're, they're, so they're they're going to be making more vehicles. So we had four models before. Now we're going to have six models, but these other two models, we're moving them down to Mexico. And we're still going to make the four models that we were making up here before. It's just they're going to be different vehicles. People aren't losing their jobs over this. They're going to have the same amount of jobs, even more jobs maybe, but they're going to ship small car products down to Mexico. I'd have to research that. I, I'm well, not, yeah, uh, you believe I'm, me, you're talking to a guy who, who lives in that area, works in that area, and knows what he's talking about. I, I trust Jason, and yeah. I trust what he says. You Max? Know? But and I've never Max. heard that. Well, funny thing is there are Fords here, and there are American cars here, and they're the small two-liter engine vehicles that you never, I never saw in the United States but not being sold here. So the market here is different than the market in the United States. Yeah. Renee. So, you why, so I don't know. I mean, I don't know the, the guy from Michigan. I don't, I don't know that gentleman too well or at all. No offense. Ren, but yeah, Ren, I mean, uh, yeah. I would never, the car you see here, I would never, my dad would, would laugh at them. I would laugh at them. Mm -hmm. But here they're yeah. popular. Because you're in Europe. <laughs> Yeah, it's different. Uh, I mean, okay, in Europe, right. the, the, yeah. the cars are, you know, you get the little diesel. Renee's had her hand up for a while here. 
Jason, are there really houses in Detroit for a dollar? <laughs> Once in a while, but you don't want it. <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, it's a dilapidated, run-down, probably burned-out shell of a house that they'll auction off for a dollar or something. But you know, you in block, I'm sorry. You could buy a whole block. No, not necessarily. And a lot of times, the banks don't even let these houses go. But it's unfortunate that usually the the houses with the most blight are the bank-owned properties, and the city doesn't enforce the same rules on the banks as they would on to the people who actually live there. Max, the Max, had, his, Max had his hand up. Okay. A question for the gentleman: um, Is there is there a rule saying that if you buy a property there, you have to live in it, or can you buy and rent it out, or are there like a two year, three year selling thing? I I don't know. I'm sure. That I don't know all the rules of Detroit. I don't live in Detroit, but oh, you know, okay. you know, I know that the the rehab attic. You know, she'll go in there and she'll buy a house for a dollar, and then she'll rehab it and turn around and sell it for you know a, a half a million dollars. So by the I, way, I, let I, me let me mention something here. I just looked. Uh, you might be interested to know that we're being listened to tonight in not only the United States, not only Canada, but also Mexico, the Ukraine, Spain, Hola, ¿qué pasa, amigos? and Italy. Uh, so, I wish they would call Mexico, right? Well, we've we got somebody from Berlin tonight, you know. So we can't hey, you know, I called you last, from Mexico. Last night we had a call from uh, from Dubai, you know. Mm. You know. Uh, hey, Jason, I needed you at the polling place in the morning. Yo no hablo español. <laughs> um, I, I had a Spanish speaker that was at worked with me when I was running a census crew back in 2010, mm -hmm. but she didn't get there till afternoon. And uh, I had time. several Spanish speakers <laughs> <laughs> come in the morning. Um, so I, anyway, I just want to tell everybody that, uh, uh, you know, we have about, uh, we have about eight minutes left. And, and this has been uh, quite an interesting week. And, uh, you know, I, in my new thing of not watching any news, uh, and planning on not doing it from here on in. Uh, I don't know how long that will last, but it's much like going on a diet. I mean, I found I was having withdrawal symptoms. But now I don't feel bad about it because really, what did I get from watching the news? I got a bunch of surus. I've got a bunch of things that made me feel terrible uh, and nothing I could do anything about. And as active as Amy is, is really very little, Amy, that you can do about any of this, you know? I mean, we were talking earlier about, about uh, um, uh, uh, petitions. They don't even work. You know, it makes you feel good you sign the petition. It makes well, you feel you about, somehow uh, you think you were proactive, but really you, you, nothing's going to happen with that. So yeah, what do we do? True. The question is, what do we do to combat what I consider this... Uh, hostile takeover of the United States. And this, um, you know, as I said before, when I was in the Navy, something that Phil certainly wouldn't know about, I took an oath that said I swear to, uh, uh, to defend my country against uh, all uh, enemies, foreign and domestic. I took an oath too and at the police department. The, yeah, but uh, <laughs> it, that was for your police department. Anyway, <laughs> but I was I was in the military and I and I took that oath and I think I'm still incumbent upon me to fight all foes, foreign or domestic. And in this Alex, case, I thank can you, thank you for your service. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Better yeah, Tuesday. yeah, Fuck yeah that. it is better. Which, Tuesday. You need a gun. <laughs> what? Right, my my son um, actually that's the going to be a veteran. He's almost a veteran gets out December 15th and he said he can't come on the show until he gets out of the military. Yeah. <laughs> uh, because when you're in the military, you lose all rights. That's the, uh, that's the odd part about mm -hmm. it. Jason. Um, first of all, did you get anything free for veterans day? Like a lot of restaurants give away stuff for oh, gee. veterans. Well, how do I prove I'm a veteran? I, at my, you don't I, have a military ID or not, not you know, why are you paying for uh, supplemental health insurance? Can't you get TRICARE? Veteran. You know something, I, I was in the Navy so long ago that I don't even know where my uh, my withdrawal, you know, my, uh, uh, my, my whatever the Dis thing was, discharge. They, yeah, the discharge papers are. Uh, you can go by the veterans office and you can get all of that. Yeah. And there are lots of services that you are eligible 
four, uh, you really should check into it because you might be, have all sorts of things coming to you that you didn't realize. You, you might have PTSD that can't allow you to work anymore. What? Right? Yeah. If you're re-enlisted, you'll be able to get another job. Maybe you get one with Armed Forces Radio. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, I mean, it was... Uh, yeah, I only spent two years in the Navy, but, you know, it was funny. I had all these talk shows, these right-wing talk show hosts, and not one of them served in the military. Oh, I, was, I was about the only talk show host in America who served in the military. Max. Jack, yeah. I, I served eight years, and I, I got my degree out of it. So you might be able to get your degree out of it at a public university. But it's called a tuition waiver. Have you heard about teaching an old dog new tricks? <laughs> Mm -hmm. oh, oh, Actually, my, my, my son was in finance and he can tell you all the things that you get and get and um, one of the things he's doing is he's going to go get certified that he's got sleep apnea and so that he can get disability for the sleep apnea oh yeah uh, uh, uh you know dave from kansas city bought his eight thousand square foot house for it wasn't a dollar, it was more than the dollar. I think it was uh, ninety thousand dollars. We haven't heard from Dave in a while. Where yeah. are you, Dave? Anyway, yeah. yeah. But it was a, a eight thousand square foot house that's totally livable. Plus, he's got a big enough lot that he's building a second house on it for his daughter. You know, uh, the, the, these you know areas that lose jobs, uh, the places blight out. And you know, he's saying that he Dave said that he lived in a in a in a tough area. Yeah. of Kansas City, but I'm sure it'll gentrify, you know. Maybe it won't. Well, you know, well, not everything gentrifies. Girl, Dave. Right, but if you get you enough people, like, I mean, you people where, like you see, where you see gentrification are basically in big cities like New York, where Harlem was once a slum, but now, or even, even the Bronx was, you know, it was like Dresden. Right. Uh, it's now, you know. But you owe that to Donald Trump. Because he no. was the one that had the vision he didn't, to he didn't, build. He didn't do any of that shit. Even Trump City, he didn't do. Well, you know, he didn't build crazy. shit in Trump City. Other people did, and he put his name on it. I looked at a thing today that uh, that said what Trump's assets were. Uh, you know, like Trump Tower and this one and that one. Mm -hmm. uh, many of his buildings, he owns debt free. You know, and uh, he doesn't uh, own that many buildings. He, he, uh, there was like 29 of them uh, here in and, here in New York City. No, uh, some of them in New York. He also owns a portion of the Bank of America building in San Francisco. He owns uh, 30 percent of it, I think. Mm -hmm. So he's a stock. Yes, Charlene. I, I'm just thinking Lefrac. You know, do you know what that is, Alex? It's a New York thing. Lefrac Lef City. Lefrac. Lef Left right. Left right. Oh, no, he, it was a disco he, song. That has nothing to do with uh, Trump, no, does Lef it? Or? Nothing to do with Trump. All oh, right. Okay. No. Sorry. No. Left Rack City, in fact, was built, uh, I think, by maybe a guy by the name of Left Rack, if I'm not mistaken. You know mistaken. what that was brought by Alexander's by Queens Boulevard. I don't know if you remember that. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. The Boulevard of Death, it, Queens it was, Boulevard, right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there was a whole bunch of building at that time. Levittown is another one. Levittown. Long Island and Philadelphia, or Bucks County. Long yeah. Island. But, you know, I mean, uh, 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 Trump, well, most of the stuff that you think he owns, he just has his name on. I'll send you the thing. No, he actually owns these ones, these 29. And uh, uh, it, some of them are pretty impressive. The only impressive thing that he did was Trump Tower. And the uh, only unimpressive uh, thing he did was decorate it. <laughs> you know, Alex, cool Alex, yes. Alex you, is, you're not into Victorian whorehouse? No, I'm really, I'm really not. <laughs> Alex, really. Is it, is it not going to be like a high security risk now? Is it going to cost like oh, millions oh, of dollars? Oh yeah, they, no, tax they've already they've already that? rolled up a big trucks in front of the uh, in front of Trump Tower uh, to prevent anybody it's from uh, from terrorizing it. Yeah, the windows and Christmas are going to be screwed, right? I think you better get going, Amy, because you got yeah, a show yeah. to do. I just okay. sent you the asset list, uh, Alex. Okay. Anyway, hey, listen, uh, wait a minute, let me find my theme song here. <laughs> so we can't listen to it, you haven't played it yet. Yeah, there we go. See, there's the theme song. I want to thank uh, Charlene, I want to thank Jason, I want to thank Rob, I want to thank Tony, I want to thank Amy, I want to thank Max from Berlin. Thank you, Max. Anytime, please. Renee from Hawaii. Uh, and Ted from uh, the San Francisco Bay Area. And Phil Meyer is out there in Contra Costa, California. And also to Scott Boddicker who called us as well. Am I missing anybody else that might have called uh, today? No, not really. 
anyway, uh, we'll uh, we'll probably see you all again. Uh, I got to do something here. Hold on a second. Uh, I. Uh, um, uh, I have yeah, it's a, hang up on us. Huh? I said it's hang up on us. That's uh, what no, you got to do. I'm having, I'm trying to figure out where the audio is coming from. Oh, there it is. Okay, I killed it. Anyway, uh, see you all uh, again, uh, uh, hopefully on Tuesday. Thanks, everybody. I really appreciate it. Okay, and let me turn my camera on here. And let me turn off uh, the Skype so the next show can use it. And uh, let me... Uh, to say to all of you out there listening to us and watching us, uh, to, you know, tune us in on Tuesday, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? And everybody out there in TV land, thank you so much for joining us. And uh, we'll see you again on next Friday. But also, you need to listen to the program on Tuesday, Tuesday through Friday. Bye, everybody.